This might be a pivotal moment for deep fakes because you can take a single portrait and infuse a video in it and then make that portrait animate as if it is real. I mean, look at this. Like, I would not know that this is an AI generated video because it is so real and it is so easy for anybody to do. And thanks to a new project called Life Portrait, this can be easily done even on consumer hardware. So add mimics and lip syncs to a static portrait driven by a video. All you need is a portrait, like you need some kind of a picture, whether it's a human or human like a portrait picture. And you can add a video to it and then the portrait will mimic every single thing, including lip sync, whatever that a static portrait has um, has got uh, from the animated video here. So for example, I've taken Albert Einstein and just like a random lady on internet, I'm not sure if she's famous. And whatever that lady is doing, we can make uh, Albert Einstein's portrait make do. Like you can see the lip sync even at a higher quality. All this is uh, thanks to this project called Life Portrait, which is available as a project and also as a paper. So the paper actually explains that instead of the regular or the trending option currently, which is the mainstream diffusion based methods, instead of that, they've taken a different approach where they have managed to do this live portrait. In fact, the image generation or the animation generation speed has reached 12.8 milliseconds on RTX 4090, which is something that a lot of people have uh, with PyTorch. The inference code and models are available. So basically what uh, they have managed to do is uh, they have managed to create a new video driven portrait animation framework that they call as life portrait. It offers better generalization, controllability and efficiency. I'm not going to talk about this paper, rather I'm going to actually show you live demo of how you can do things. There are different ways you can do this. You can just download the model and then do it on local machine or if you have got hugging faces spaces, you can go there and upload your picture and then do it. But if you want to just try it out, like the ridiculously easier way to do is to use file. So if you go to file, as you can see here, so you can go to file and then do it real time with your own picture. And uh, I have got the camera here. I'm looking at my screen here. That's why you see this difference. So all I have to do is I have to go pick one of the images here so I can pick this cute little baby or the meme baby, or I can pick this very popular image from the office. I can pick anything I want. I don't have muscle, so probably I'll pick this macho guy. And then I, I can uh, turn on this one. And as you can see here, the guy would start reacting. So I, I'm looking at the camera now and I'm going to say something the guy is saying and he's looking at it. Now it looks a little odd. Hi. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why the head changes. So maybe I'll uh, select a different one now. Mm? What is happening? This is, so as you can see here, when I roll my eye up, so I'm going to roll my eye up and you would see that when I roll my eye up, that still actually happens here. So when I roll my eye up, blink, all those things are happening here. Oh, wow. <laughs> all the things that <laughs> sometimes it becomes weird, but all the things that I'm doing, I, actually you can see the character is also doing, it doesn't do anything with the ha hand and all those things because it is particularly with uh, portraits, but with portraits, it does a pretty good job. and. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, it is it is actually good. It is quite funny, but it is good. And um, yeah, basically wanted to quickly show you that you can create your own live portrait. And uh, easiest option is to use a file. But if you want a lot more customization, it's a uh, it's a much better for you to host it yourself. There are certain services which might let you you easily do it. And if you want to. Uh, wait the queue, you are okay with that, then the easiest way to do is you go to Hugging Faces Spaces. Here you've got the live portrait. You can upload a picture and then just simply click animate. So you can upload two pictures. For example, you can go upload this boy and uh, you can upload something else like this girl and click animate. Once you click animate, it is going to animate it for you and then the video is going to be available. And then you can also select from one of the examples. But if you want to do further more advanced settings, then you can go here to edit the eyes and lip open ratio. So you can go here and then start doing it, which they call as retargeting. But uh, it does not take a lot of time. Uh, it depends upon um, how many people are waiting and also it runs on Hugging Faces Zero, which is like the shared GPU cluster type thing. 
and once this is ready uh, after the processing has been done the video will ultimately show up here so you can just go see here the input image the output one so you can see here um, how the boy is reacting you can see the eyebrows moving the blinking um, the latency like the, the way you move this also moves and all the things that are available here it's quite fascinating for you to see and you get the final output video also so if you want to take one of the pictures that you like and make them mimic something it's fairly simple because all you need is a picture and then you say something like oh i love abdul i love one little coder something like that and that video you can just overlay on this and then keep it using For example i can go here and then just turn on the live one and then start talking so i can make eye movements i can smile or mm, mm, blink put it mm, do any kind of movement and that moment in fact uh, this may not work well because maybe i'm not like the right portrait but i can go again and say things like uh, for example please subscribe to one little coder and if in the right environment this would ideally work and you would be able to do this if you have got this uh, self hosted or even with the live live real time you should be able to do things like this i think it brings in like a lot of opportunities uh, if you use it in the right way but also it brings in a lot of issues uh, if you do not use it in the right way and the problem is the line between uh, finding out whether it is real or not is blurring a lot that's basically it see you in another video happy prompting